Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It's Candy here from SweetStamper.com, and I'm so happy to be with you here today for Teach Me Tuesday. Uh, every Tuesday, I come here on Facebook Live at my Sweet Stamper place, my Sweet Stamper page. So it's if you're if you're here for the first time, you've either stumbled across me or you've plugged in facebookcom stamper. So that's how you found me, and I'm really glad that you did. Hi, Teresa, or Teresia. I'm not sure how you say your name, but it looks like a lovely name. Teresa is why I'm. I'm gonna go with Teresa. Tell me in the comments if I'm if I'm saying it correctly, because I do like to pronounce people's names correctly. I have a difficult last name, and my first name, Candy, is not difficult. Hey, Gail. But I've all my life I've had to spell it. So finally, I started telling people it's Candy, just like the chocolate. Because then people have, no, they know exactly how to spell it. Hi, Michelle. Because it was always like, well, does it start with a C or a K? Is it end with an I-E or a Y? And, oh, I got you right. Okay, yay. Hi, Linda. I'm glad you're here. So uh, for Teach Me Tuesday, um, this time I am going to do a showcase of one of our new suites. And it is the Sweet Conversations Suite. I've been playing with it a lot because it is the theme for my weekend retreat next weekend and uh oh michelle you're in new york so i'm sure you're colder than we are today hey crystal it is cold here though i mean in san antonio i say cold. it's chilly um our godson this is his last day with us he comes down uh from indiana he's been a grad student in indiana for quite some time hey dudley um, he's in the final leg of his phd program and he's been coming down for the last like six years at christmas because um, he's been doing masters and then PhD studies, and um, it is decidedly warmer in San Antonio than it is in uh, at Purdue up in Indiana. So he's enjoying one last day of somewhat cooler temperatures before he heads home to all the snow. So uh, hey, Diana, uh, I am really glad to see everyone today. I'm going to bring the camera down, and we are going to get going because I have a lot to show you. I've been playing with this a lot. So I have a lot of things to show you, lots of creative inspiration. And, um, you know, uh, with February right around the corner, well, well, we're only 10 days, 11 days into January. But I know how this goes. February will be here before we know it. As crafters, we typically like to be working towards the, you know, the month or two or three months ahead. So I like to dig into the Valentine themed things as, quick as, as quickly as possible. Now, having said that, you know, I've personally not been a big fan of, not, I shouldn't say a fan. I haven't done a lot of Valentine stuff since I was a kid. Uh, we did Valentine stuff when our kids were small. We could do Valentine stuff with our grandkids, but none of them live locally. We are gonna get to see our US grandkids on Friday uh, as they're in town for a few days. but. Our other grandkids live in the UK, and so, yeah, we don't have little ones to do those things with, but it is so fun to just celebrate love, because I'll tell you what, if you haven't noticed lately, our world needs more love and needs more expressions of love. It's one thing to have love and to feel love. It's another thing to express it. So, hi, Linda. I'm glad you're here with us. So really, I think that if you take Valentine's celebrations and take them out of the element of like just, well, not just a holiday of a single day, but celebrate February as a whole month of love. So I know one year I did, um, I did 30 days of love for my husband. It just about killed me by the end of it because I did a handmade card on his nightstand every single night for 30 days culminating with uh, February the 14th. Now I say the reason it just about killed me was every single one I wrote in there reasons that I love you. And by the time I got to 30, I was like, okay, you know, the first 10 were easy, easy, but I wanted to be really specific. And um, so ideas of how you can just celebrate love. Hey Susan, I'm glad you're here. So let's look at the suite and then we'll talk about ways that you can use it. So I have um, pages eight through nine, and uh, this is the Sweet Talk Suite. I think I called it Sweet Conversations. There's several names in here because of the names of the designer paper and the names of the um, stamp. So you get, there's a bundle here. There's a coordinating, um, what do you call it? 
embossing folder. I will confess to you, I haven't used this a lot just because I've been so enamored with the paper. But I will say this, the embossing folder is really cute. It's called Gingham. Um, I, would, I wouldn't say it's overly gingham-y, if that makes sense. Um, it's more like just a nice checkerboard pattern in my mind, um, which I guess there's some elements of gingham. But it's a really nice texture. Um, so I think it, it's not a 3D folder, so it's not, it's not a real heavy texture. I think it has a lot. I think I'll end up playing with this more. I think it'll look really pretty with the in color shimmer vellum. Um, glimmer, yeah, shimmer vellum. I think that would look really cool. So um, the stamps and the dies. Let me talk a little bit about the stamps. You could use just the stamps, however, why not buy the bundle? As I've shared with you before, typically what Stampin' Up! does is when they release coordinating items, the first time they're released, you can get them at bundle price. That means you get them at 10% off. So um, instead of paying $29 and $18 individually, let's see, where is the bundle is oh, $42.25. You see, you could add one more thing to that and then you get to a free celebration item. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a great deal when you go ahead and just buy them as a bundle. There's just a lot of fun elements here to play with. So back to the stamps, focus candy. Um, I love the fact that these things, other than a happy Valentine's Day, you could use these at any time in your, in your year. Um, so I love that. Now let me show you uh, the dies. Now my, one of my helpers, Jeanette, she might be here today. Um, she, although she's not here yet, uh, she helped me to put this together. Um, truth be told, we talked about it, she did it. <laughs> so she comes and works in my studio every week and I'm so grateful for her help. And what she did was take every single one of these dies and work with them to see, you know, how would they work. So I love, love, love this tag die and I really love this little mini, um, what do you call it? A mini envelope die. So this is when you fold up this mini envelope, this is what it looks like. This heart just kind of helps. Oh, Jeanette, you are here. This heart, this kind of fat chubby heart kind of show, helps you see the, the scale of it. I like the fact that they've given us kind of a, a slender heart, a really traditional heart, and then a chubby heart because I think that way you have different styles of hearts all in one single set of dies. Now you have a lot of these little dies, which I love the fact that you can just run these through. So if you're doing a shaker card, or if you're wanting to do a lot of these little hearts, you don't have to run them through individually. You have a lot of them. I really like um, this little banner because it's just a nice size that you can work with. So it's this one here. Now this little tiny banner, I confess, I have not used this one yet. It's really tiny um, and I just haven't had a use for it yet. I really like these little heart outlines. Uh, my top tip for using these is to put a, an adhesive sheet behind it and then run it through your uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine and then they become stickers. So that's the super easy way to use these. I mean, look at that. You've got the six, the four, the three. And uh, I like the fact that you have the, the horizontals as well as the verticals. Uh, hey, Dot, I'm glad you're here joining us from Virginia. That's where my kiddos are heading. So um, more on that later. So they're, they're in the midst of a move. They're heading up to Virginia Beach for a few months. Uh, they do the traveling thing with their homeschool kiddos. Uh, he's a traveling medical uh, personnel. So the dies, I think, have a lot to recommend them. Um, I'm not typically a fan of little dies. But these little hearts are just too cute. And I will say I've worked with them a lot and they're super easy to work with. Uh, this is a photopolymer stamp set. Some of them are over there. I'm still working with them. So you can see that they do have, uh, they do, they will, you know, kind of um, get a bit stained, but it's not a problem to use them. I like the fact that you get an X and O, so you've got kisses and hugs. So that is the stamps and dies. Now, you also have this beautiful, beautiful linen ribbon. Now, I really like, I mean, I like linen anyway. I like to wear linen. Um, this linen is a little bit thin, which I like because it makes it super easy to tie. And it's got a little bit of a sheer, um, 
It's sheer if you hold it up to the light, but not when you add it to something. So, you know, you can't really see things through it, um, but it is a little bit sheer. So it's, it's very thin, and so it's not bulky, really easy to tie with. So this is a part of this suite. You also have one of my absolute favorite elements is these guys here. Now you can see this, this is just almost the very end. These are the iridescent rhinestones. They are super, super sparkly, but they're flat tops. So I love the fact that they're real, they don't, they won't puncture your envelopes or anything and they're really flat. Super sparkly, pick up all, they're kind of prismy. They pick up lots of light. So these are an absolute favorite. I think I'm gonna use the heck out of these uh, be, well beyond this suite. Um, let's see, what else is in the suite? Um, these little boxes, okay. Now these are called sweet little boxes and they are sweet. So let me just show you, this is the way they come and then I'll show you one that's already done up because one of the things that's important to know is that the boxes from Stampin' Up, our boxes are all um, food safe. So they are super, super easy to put together. Let me just do one for you real quick, just by way of demonstration, because sometimes you kind of look at these things and go, wait a minute. And I can tell you, I'm box challenged and I had no problems. I'm also not very good at reading directions. Uh, full disclosure here. <laughs> Now, as always, we always want to hide the bump, hide the worm. So you take that bump and that's how you know you're going to go in on that. And they, look at that, they already have the adhesive here. Now, these are food safe, so you could put like a homemade cookie in here, you could put some kind of homemade treats in here and that would be fine. But I will show you, um, I'll show you one that I've decorated because you know, you could put like little chocolates in here. You could put Ghirardelli chocolates, all kinds of things. So let me show you. You just pop these up like this, fold this in because that one has the, the little adhesive strips. And let's see, just peel that back, peel this back. And I mean, you are done and dusted in just seconds. I do like to pull that in and then that is going to go like that. I mean, it's just so, so incredibly simple. You just press and squeeze and you're done. I mean, that is as easy as it comes. I do like to oftentimes on the closure part, I like to crease it back and forth a couple of times. Hey, Simone, I'm glad you joined us. So these are aptly named sweet little boxes. They are part of the suite. And I wanted to point that out. First of all, a lot of us do little 3D things during the month of love, during February. I think one of the great things about celebrating February as a month of love is when you want to give a little treat to somebody because you have Valentine's Day in there, they think it seems really normal. Where other times of the year they might go, hmm, wonder what she's up to. So let me show you. Here's one. This is actually one of the make and takes for our... Um, retreat next weekend. I'm going to give you several sneak peeks, which I don't typically do, but I've been working with this suite and I wanted to show you guys. So just by wrapping the box with um, a piece of cardstock, the designer series paper, you can see this is that linen ribbon. You can see how nicely it ties. This is that pretty little tag I like. And then a couple of the die cuts. This one has the, um, you know, we stamped it first. And then there's one of those gems. So I felt like this was a good example to show you exactly how these boxes work. So super nice size, really easy to put together. And the nice thing is that you know there is the easy button. So let me grab it here. Um, is it here? Yeah, here we go. You know, when you see these suites and you see a number under here and you see that, for $86.25, you can get one of everything in this suite. Now, people oftentimes wonder if they, um, if you save on this. Well, you do save because you get the bundle price here. But these other items you don't save on when you use the single um, suite number. It's just the fact that it's the easy. You only have to put in one number instead of all these numbers individually. Again, you do save the 10% on the bundle price. And Jeanette, you're absolutely right. I think these are modeled after the little conversation heart boxes. Uh, I think they might be a wee bit wider than the ones that we get now. So um, those are the boxes. So 
I think that's all of the elements. So let me break it down for you a little bit more and then we're going to show you some more samples so that you get lots of ideas on how to use it. Now, the paper I really love and I have five, only have one of the sheets of paper, I've used all of it and couldn't find a piece without opening another pack at the moment. So I actually really love the B side of this because I think this goes well beyond um, Valentine projects. I love the fact that they've added this purple element. So Highland Heather is a part of this suite, which is a little bit unexpected, but I think it's fresh by putting these other colors in. I mean, isn't that just scrummy paper? It looks like those conversation hearts. This looks like a little box of them and then they're open and just super cute. And this is like little um, heart lollipops and yeah, they're just adorable. This is really heavy on the, the print, but a little bit goes a long way, but it's really nice. I love, love, love this pattern, the, the stripe here. Um, I mean, look at these stripes going together. That, there's that Highland Heather. So let me show you some, this is probably one of my favorite pieces in here. Yeah, there's a lot to love in these papers. Okay, so let me show you some ideas and, uh, and I will note. So this is a fun fold card that I made, one of the first things I made with this suite. And I love this fold because it really showcases your designer series paper. But again, it says, happy to have you in my life. All these cute conversation hearts I could put Happy Valentine's Day in here, or I could just use it as a nice little card that expresses love. This is one of the other first things I made with this, and this is a book fold. So again, this has text me on here. I, I really love that, um, that uh, uh, tag. And again, you can see how those um, iridescent rhinestones really sparkle. Now this is a swap that I received, another fancy fold. So this Z fold with the designer paper here, this is all done with the stamps. So I like how you can see all the cute things that you can do with the stamps. This is a really cute fancy fold. Again, a swap that I got. Look at that heart. Once you put that wink of Stella on there, it really, really sparkles and shines. And then you open this up like so. So cute, really cute fancy fold. This is another swap that I received and it showcases that little mini envelope. And here uh, they incorporated the little um, rectangle dies. Now let me move that out of the way. I've got, okay, now I'm gonna jump here a little bit. Here we go. This again showcases that little tiny envelope. Now here, this demonstrator, this is Marcia Gay. She used that um, red and white um, stitched ribbon from the Pets, uh, Playful Pets combo. So that's a really good um, addition, which I brought some things out to show you that coordinate that aren't part of the suite, and I didn't even think about that one. But that's a good one too. This one here is super cute. Again, just the stamps with one of, this is not using the dies that are part of the bundle. Uh, just the stamps, and I love, love, love. This is one of the elements I think I used several times. I think coordinates beautifully. This is actually part of the fortunes, uh, the crane of fortune, mm, crane, crane card class is what I call it. Uh, symbols of fortune, uh, sweet, but I love the way this white, um, this is the mother of pearl paper. It's super, super iridescent, but it's totally flat and smooth. So you don't have any of that sparkle, that's that glitter that's gonna come off on you. Totally flat for mailing, totally flat, flat for easy, easy crafting. I love it. Be really good on your, um, on your scrapbook pages as well. Sometimes glitter is a little bit uh, awkward on your scrapbook pages. Now I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of make and takes for my retreat because yeah, I just wanted to show you. So this, again, I wanted to use the dies on the inside, which I think is a, an unexpected way to use them. This is also a lot of these, not all of them. I've got some overlap with my little uh, Valentine card class this month. And I will say these are the memories and more cards and envelopes. And I love the fact that you have these three by four, well, three and a quarter by four and a quarter cards, as well as the larger six and a quarter by four and a quarter cards. So these are mailable, these are not, but these are perfect size for little Valentine cards. Little cards to give with treat baskets, 
with little treat bags uh, just to put on somebody's desk or their nightstand. Um, this is another one that this is another one of mine, and uh, I, I have put a Happy Valentine's Day on the inside. This is a very casual font, which I think is really cute on this particular suite. Um, and here again, I've got that Mother of Pearl um, tag to give it a lot of shine, and then just a single one of those iridescent rhinestones. Um, here again, I've paired that that Mother of Pearl heart you know i think it just really picks up the uh, the light in a beautiful way and see this paper i like it on the small card but it's a little bit heavy i think for a full-on card so when i went to make a full-size card i used just a strip of it because i think a little can go a long way um so this is a happy valentine's day then i wanted to do some that were not overly valentiney so this one happy to have you in my life um, I think could go in a lot of directions. And then I pulled in another set of uh, greeting stamps. Let me show you. It is, yes. Um, this is a celebration stamp set. I believe it's free with a $100 order. Excellent, excellent greetings on here. And so this is where I did, for someone who is wonderful in each and every way, this could be, a, this would be a great, put happy birthday on the inside. And then this one is, where would I be without you as a friend? And I've got a pop of red here, and I've got a few hearts here, but there's nothing on this card that indicates it's Valentine. And that was exactly my plan. Now, this is the suite itself. I did wanna show you a couple of other swaps I got that are Valentine related. This is that adorable robot set that I had, I did not get, but I wanted to show you this one uses the um, Sweet Talk Sweet elements, but uses the uh, little robot stamp set. So I got these three. This one doesn't use any designer series paper, nuts and bolts about you with that gorgeous, gorgeous metallic ribbon. So, um, and then I, this one just soft and sweet for a little girl. I just thought these were so cute. I wanted to share them because they're on a Valentine theme. And then this one that uses the, um, the other heart. I actually have one more like, let me see if I can find it really quick. Um, another one that uses, This is that beautiful sweet, or yeah, no, it's not a sweet. It's a bundle that's just on the next page. Let me grab it for you so you can see exactly what I'm referring to. So if you go, let's see, where were we? Oh, here's the uh, nuts and bolts is the little robot set. So cute. Um, let's see, where's my Valentine? Here we go. So if you go right past the sweet talk sweet, the next bundle you see is this Love and Happiness. And it's really cool because it has this hybrid embossing folder. And it is the bomb. I, I will end up doing this on a Teach Me Tuesday. Um, so that will, uh, that will be coming ahead because it does involve a little bit of instruction, I think, just paves the way for you. But look, this is actually made by one of my team members, Lori Gray. She has beautiful design work. And this is free celebration paper. Isn't that a gorgeous anniversary card? I love the fact that she used pale papaya. I think it's just an excellent choice there all the way around. This is the new ribbon. It's not available right now because it's already sold out. But it will be back. This is the white frayed ribbon. And then look here. This is the same. Now, this is the embossing folder where it's cut out the heart. And then um, this is, oh, Laura Bartow. She's a really cool lady. I think she lives up in the Chicago area. I met her at my very first uh, uh, incentive trip. Um, but she's added uh, with probably the blending brushes or maybe some sponge daubers, she's added some ink to that. So that is a really cool um, thing there. Oh, I did have one other on the Valentine. I have one of the Viking. I've taken a Viking to you. Super cute. I think this is another one of my team members. This is um, Yvonne Marks. I think this is a fancy fold. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, look how cute is that? Oh my gosh, adorable. So, um, what else? Oh, I know what I was gonna show you really quick. Time to waste. I got a team meeting tonight, so I've still got uh, prep work to do on that. I was just letting my family know I won't be eating with them tonight. I'm gonna be eating late tonight. <laughs> Because I, partly because I've just been playing and doing things that, yeah. I have a house guest still. It's, I ended up doing FaceTime with our friends in England this morning. Yeah. Yeah, there's other things going on. I, I'm not, it's not like I'm deprived or anything. <laughs> okay, let me show you really quick. Um, some other elements that I like to coordinate with this. Well, first of all, I got a couple more 3D things to show you. This is one of the seat treats, one of the little gifties that we give to our um, retreat guests. And again, I'm giving lots of, um, lots of sneak peeks here. But this is, again, I love, love, love this mother of pearl paper. And look how that coordinates. This is uh, Blushing Bride and this is um, Mint Macaron. So if you're looking to do something with our little, these are our little jam jars. They're just a really nice size. You can kind of tell the scale of them and uh, filling them up with some conversation hearts. So our retreat guests will have those to munch on all weekend. And then I showed you this one, which is one of their make and takes. Um, this is another little treat that I created. This is a little... Um, um, Tootsie Pop. I ate a lot of these as a kid growing up. Used to buy these when I went into a movie theater because you could suck on that and get, usually make it last through the whole movie. Um, the, this heart here is from that um, hybrid embossing folder. It cuts out a couple of the really pretty hearts that have stitching. This is, I wanted to show you um, how you can use these with um, just circle punches. So if you want to pull them away from, you know, all of the heart images, they go really nicely with circle punches as well. They're happy to have you in my life. And then I wanted to also show you, kind of as I'm winding up here, this is the red linen that works really nicely. This ruffled ribbon was part of our holiday catalog, but it carried over. So this is still available and look how cute it looks. It's a little bit more flirty where this is a little bit more trim. This is a little bit more flirty. Super, super cute ribbon. Um, I also wanted to show you that this ribbon is in our um, clearance rack. This was in our spring catalog last year, and this is that uh, Blushing Bride in gold. The gold side is okay, but look here. When you turn that Blushing Bride side there, it's exactly the color that's in here. So I believe this is like $2.60 a roll. I mean, it's dirt cheap. It's crazy cheap right now. So if you're looking for more of a pink element to bring in, I would highly recommend. This is called Blushing Bride. Um, it just says Blushing Bride. But I think it's called Blushing Bride, like 3 8 inch um, um, what do you call it? Reversible ribbon, something like that. So hopefully that gives you lots of ideas to use the suite. You can make all kinds of cute little treat holders. Um, you can just have a lot of fun with it for Valentine's and beyond. If you have any questions at all, please post them in the comments. Um, I do have some giveaways. Hey, Beth, I'm glad you're here with us. I did my... Um, I did simple and stepped up cards on Thursday, which is what I typically do on Thursdays. And I have those cards to uh, mail out, but I didn't want to do the drawing before I was ready to actually put them out the door because I didn't want to draw and then they were sitting around here for a week while I was getting them ready. You would think that I could just put them out the door, but yeah, there's so many other things that I need to get done and I'm thinking, yeah, I need to wait on that. Just the way my brain works. Um, I also wanted to let you know that on Thursday, uh, next, this coming Thursday, I'm doing things a little bit differently. I am going to do a simple and a stepped up card, but I'm actually doing four birthday cards. It's going to be a free class and I will post on here which stamp sets I'm going to be using because I'm actually doing a series of four of these free classes here on Thursday afternoons, two in January and two in February. Hi, Pam. And so they will be free classes here. Anybody can watch them. 
There will be um, a special that if you order within a certain amount of time with a particular host code, that you can get the packets for free. And so I will be sharing those packets and those packets will be free with a $35 order. If you bump it to 50, of course you would get a celebration item. And then I'll also send you the packets as well as the embellishment that I'm gonna be using. So um, yeah, I'm glad that uh, you got lots of good ideas today. I really hope you'll be with me here again on Thursday. And uh, it's going to be a, a little free card class. So we'll be, here, we'll be here a little bit longer on Thursday. We'll be here about an hour and we'll be doing four cards, birthdays, getting us ready for 2022 to celebrate the people in our lives and um, to just let them know that we thought about them on their special day. And uh, sometimes people, especially as we get older, fewer and fewer people remember our birthday. And uh, Simone, it will be four o'clock my time, five o'clock your time on Thursday. So hopefully you'll be out of work and can join us. That is it for today. I thank you so very much for tuning in. If you are tuning in after uh, on the recording, please just write replay in the comments, that helps me. And uh, if you're watching on the YouTube recording, just give me a thumbs up on there, subscribe to my channel, and um, I'm live every Tuesday and Thursday on Facebook, but I always download that to YouTube so that people who wanna watch it in that format can. Believe it or not, there are people who are not on Facebook. And I hear a lot more and more. I know sometimes people have a love-hate relationship with Facebook. It's like, ah, there's so much stuff on there. It confuses me or it's, it's too much. And other people are like, oh, <laughs> it's like my little neighborhood. I can get on there and see what's happening with all of my, all of my people. I can see, I mean, for me, my, none of my grandkids live close. So I like being able to um, see their, their day very quickly. Um, as they're sharing with all the grandparents and all the relatives all at the same time. So, you know, Facebook works for us. That's it for today. Thanks again for tuning in. Take care and God bless.